Thank you very much, Senator Udall. And I want to thank all of my colleagues who've worked so hard uh, to put this together and to really shine a light on these issues. And I especially want to thank our witnesses uh, who are here to testify to the reality of the intentionally chaotic and cruel situation um, on our southern border. I think it's pretty shameful that Republicans in this body are refusing to work with us to address the root causes of this crisis. We as a Congress should do everything we can to hold this administration accountable for flouting our nation's laws and our American values. Children as young as infants and toddlers have been taken from their families. I think that's worth saying again. Children as young as infants and toddlers. Migrant families and children are being held in overcrowded prison-like facilities. Uh, a report in the New York Times described the conditions at Clint this way, quote, outbreaks of scabies, shingles, and chickenpox were spreading among the hundreds of children and adults who were being held in cramped cells. The stench of the children's dirty clothing was so strong it spread to the agent's own clothing. People in town would scrunch their noses when they left work. The children cried constantly. Um, I don't know how anyone can treat children like this. The Trump administration is also throttling the legal ports of entry where refugees are required under law to present themselves for asylum, pushing huge groups to remote and more dangerous stretches of the border. We have tragically seen this result in the deaths of several children in New Mexico near some of our remote ports of entry that lack even the most basic medical infrastructure. And I am sincerely appreciative that so many New Mexicans, rather than responding to the president's rhetoric and chaos on the border with fear, are instead responding to this humanitarian crisis with both kindness and compassion. Uh, I'm proud to welcome one of those New Mexicans to testify before us today, Imelda Maynard, a senior attorney for Catholic Charities of Southern New Mexico, has been providing legal services to migrant families and children in Southern New Mexico, in West Texas, and in our neighboring city in Mexico, Ciudad Juarez. And I'd like to take a moment to thank you and all of the Americans who are volunteering their time and their resources to help migrant families, mothers, fathers, and children who are desperately seeking refuge and the prospect of a safer life in this country. And I would implore my colleagues who are here today, and especially our Republican colleagues, to listen to the grave details that these witnesses are telling us about the conditions in these facilities. I think it's clear that the Trump administration has shown an appalling disregard of basic human dignity. This is not who we are as a country, and this is not how we should treat our fellow human beings.